Alright, so they made a pretty reasonable uh, change to pixel gaps. And that reasonable change is now anywhere that you can access the box room, you can access the code lock. So you don't need to be staring at the lock anymore like that. It could be from over here. You could access anywhere. Which means pixel gaps are now uh, pretty uh, bonkers because you don't have to wait for all your homies to authorize before you make it. You can just plop it down even as a solo and put the code locks on them. Any anybody can come in later and authorize on the, the loot boxes. So. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I just like to do it in this better 2x1. You could obviously do half balls here have a little furnace area this yes. furnaces or whatever and this pixel gap isn't too big you just use the smallest pixel gap method um, one thing I noticed is that it's a lot uh, harder to get a triangle two triangle pixel gap like this like if you see here we have a gap and, but it just won't let me access the boxes even if I go over here and I made it bigger made the gap sizably bigger um, won't let me access the boxes through the floor for two triangles so I don't know if they uh, I don't know if face pumps did this so it wouldn't be too OP you could just have a hexagon of pixel gap boxes litter or whatever but I can't seem to get it I don't know just because triangle floors are goofy like the splash damage and everything if they hit box and do the triangle floors but definitely works fine with uh, square floors so yeah just build a little easy pixel gap two by one because now they're even better oh yeah super easy um two square about to the left or the right you do a almost hexagon so there's a square gap, square and triangle gap like that. Look down towards your original one and break all of everything else. And now you have your pixel gap base. Let's so make sure you put the floors on the adjacent ones and not off of each other. So you look away and put them on the walls and not down here off of each other. No. And obviously don't forget to clap your boxes in there and uh, lock them up. You could even do a small box in the middle. Still code lock everything. Even if you're solo, I'd code lock it just because you could possibly add someone later. Ally with someone or something. Lock them all up. from here like this when you're on a live server but then it's just a normal two by one business as usual make sure you do not put uh, your ceilings like off each wall but then there's going to be a gap in your ceiling too with those you can stick off of each other and yeah it's pretty simple i think i've done this before but now that the pixel gap now that the box hitbox boxes hitbox are changed with the code locks and it's just a lot more viable nowadays that and yeah like so and then you can access all the box and you can change everything on all the boxes one large box one small box right uh, there and the other large box here 